What's up guys? I'm going to go ahead and give you guys an updated video on Facebook scraping without code. Um, the last video I made on this was a year ago. So there's been a lot of changes obviously to getting data from Facebook and you know, gaining those emails for your lead generation needs. With IG leads, you can discover how to extract valuable data. The best part about this, we do everything within the guidelines. Um, these are some considerations when you are using IG leads to grab data from Facebook. So all of these emails are publicly available. They put them up there specifically for you guys to reach out. So this is all publicly available information. We fully are compliant with the TOS of Facebook. We do not use proxies, we don't rotate IP addresses, or we do not log in to Facebook directly to access any data. So let's go ahead and get into Facebook group. This is one of the most popular scrapers on our website. Unfortunately, from a year ago, it is now down to a 10% success rate. So like I said in this previous thing, we do everything where we respect the user privacy and we are fully compliant. So now it's down to a 10% success rate. But of course, it's still a 10% chance that you can get a good amount of emails. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to actually increase that success rate. So you want to go ahead and identify groups. You want to go ahead, research and find relevant groups to scrape data from. Public is always better. Remember that public groups is always better. Private groups is 10 times harder because you fall within the, you know, breaking the TOS. So we do not want to do that, but they need to at least be 50 K members. I know a lot of people think you can just go find a Facebook group with, let's say, 4K members and you can scrape that. No. And most of them are private. No, you're not going to get anything from that. You're going to go ahead and need to find Facebook groups with at least 50K members. Let's just go through here. 122,000 members. This is something that you would like to scrape. Or by the way, the keyword I entered was business owner and I went to groups. Let's just go through here. Colorado small business owners. That's a good shot right there. But you remember you want to go with that 50k black business owners network and it's a public group. So this is an excellent group to get emails from. You are not going to scrape anybody's public Facebook. It's just impossible. You're going to be scraping people's public Facebook business page. So those are the emails you are going to be collecting. So please know that now scraping keywords and hashtags is a 100% success rate. Um, I suggest everybody does this. If you're going to sign up for IG leads and you're going to continue to use IG leads, you are going to want to do keywords and hashtags. Now, what will these results look like? Any business page who uses that keyword hashtag in the bio comments or post will be scraped. So for example, let's just say we did business owner. You're going to go ahead and find all of those public Facebook pages that mentioned business owners. So let's go ahead and try that out real quick. Now, once we go ahead and click on scrape Facebook, we are going to go ahead and enter the keyword. I'm going to go ahead and do business owner. Let's just do hashtag business owner. We're just going to ask for 200 emails. So now all I'm going to do is go ahead and click search. Now we're going to go ahead and wait for that to complete. So I will be right back to show you guys the results of that scrape. All right. So the scraping is now completed. So let's go ahead and look at these results. Remember we did hashtag business owner. So let's go ahead and look at these results. As you can see, you have the direct access to the page right here. We got the name, we got the phone number. If it is public, we got the position if it is public, but you can see right here that all of these people use the hashtag at business owner. And of course you want to go ahead and make sure when you go to scrape Facebook, you want to make sure that you enter your targeted country. I don't think I selected the target country. So I went ahead and just scraped whatever I saw. But if you want to do targeted country, make sure you go through and click on the targeted country. So um, I actually want to go ahead and switch over to the Facebook groups because I know a lot of people keep asking about it. So I found a really cool Facebook group called Canada Small Business Owners. Now, remember what I said? You always want to have at least 50K members and we prefer public, but private groups work. But just know there's like a 5% success rate. If you want the biggest success rate, you want to go with public groups. So as you can see, Canada, small business. So let's go ahead and just copy this group name. And then we're going to go enter that group's name right here. And we're going to go ahead and put Canada because it is Canada, small business owners. And we're going to go ahead and ask for 500 emails. 
So let's go ahead and actually look at that. So I will be right back once that is completed. All right, guys, I just got an email notification that my scrape is now complete. Remember, you always get an email notification to your phone saying that the scrape is completed. So all you have to do is just log back in and check the completed scrape. So remember, we went ahead and scraped Canada small business owner. So I'm gonna go ahead and view. Of course, you can download this as a CSV file as well. So as we can see, we have the name, we have the email, we have the phone number, we have the position, and we have the company if public. But as you can see, we got these people right here are located in Toronto, Canada, Canada, and these are pretty much all business owners. Um, these are B2C emails, but remember, if you guys want to do B2B emails, which is certified company emails you can go ahead and select this to b2b but as you can see this is a very good scrape right here we got the name you can see the um phone number and you can just go through here and this looks good you can actually go ahead and download the full file on the scraping results tab so yeah guys that's pretty much it i showed you guys how to scrape facebook groups and how to scrape keywords hashtags um, actually keywords works the same way as hashtags just it's just gonna be uh, you know a word instead of a hashtag you know hashtags obviously has the hashtag next to it so um, showed you guys how to do that so go ahead check this out watch this video over again if you need to 